In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a unique URL with PhotoParty Upload. So as you can see here, we have an example of a unique URL. This is a page that we've created uh, to fit our needs. And this page can be shared, it can be tracked, and um, there's a lot you can do with the unique URL feature. So the first thing that we need to do is enable Facebook or enable email. So these are the two options that we could use unique URL with. We would have to first click on enable Facebook and then wall message or album and wall message and that would allow us to click on this generate unique URL checkbox and that would basically redirect users to their unique URL website when they click on the Facebook wall message but for this example I'm going to use the email message so I'm going to select enable emails and I'm also going to select generate unique URL so that's basically going to throw a link into that email message that users can click on or they can click on the thumbnails of their photos in the email message and be redirected to the unique URL. So once we have unique URL checked, we're going to click next and we're going to scroll to the bottom of the page on where it says unique URL page settings and we're going to upload a banner. Um, this banner needs to be 940 pixels wide. So you can see here that I've actually already uploaded a banner and I've already put some text here in my header and I've actually entered my website address into the footer just so that I can have users uh, easily get to my website if they so choose to. Um, and I've also uploaded a background image. And all you need to do is click on upload a file and you can select your images and you'll see it working alright so once you upload the necessary files that you want um, for the design aspect of your page keep scrolling down we can enter a unique or I'm sorry a page title which I've entered unique URL and a page description. Now when we get to the follow buttons, these are add this follow buttons. You don't need an add this account to generate these buttons. Follow buttons are buttons that users can click on to follow you whether it be on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. So I'll show you an example of this. Click here to generate follow buttons. So I'm going to click this link and that'll bring me to the add this page. And I don't need an add this account to make these buttons. So I'm going to enter my profile here and I'm going to enter my Twitter and maybe I'll enter a Google Plus or a YouTube or even a Flickr, Vimeo, I mean Pinterest, there's there's a bunch of options here that you can that you can enter if you have any of these accounts. If you only have Facebook or Twitter, that's fine. Enter the accounts that you have or that you'd wish uh, other people would follow you on and then click on get the code and I'm going to take this code select it copy it and I'm just gonna paste it right here now the next is the tracking code so this tracking code is the code that will track the number of times people click on these follow buttons so to get the add this tracking code you will need an add this account and to create an add this account it's free so I have an add this account and I'm going to log into my account and I'm going to click on change next to all websites and I'm going to click on this drop down menu scroll all the way to the bottom click on manage profiles and I'm going to scroll down I'm going to click on add a profile and I'm going to name this profile unique URLs and this is so that I can easily find this profile and track it I would probably name this um, the name of my event for organizational purposes and I'll click on add and this code right here is the only code that I'll need so I'll take that code copy it and I'll paste it right into here and so that means afterwards after this event is over I can go back into my add this account and I can go to the unique URL profile that I just created and I can track um, those stats. 
Now the Google Analytics code is so that you can track the traffic um, going to this microsite. And so to get a Google Analytics tracking code, you'll need a Google Gmail Google Analytics account. And so I have a Google account and I'm just going to type in google.com slash analytics and I'll click on sign in and I'm already signed in and I need to click on admin over here and then I need to click on new account just like we did for add this for new profile and I'll click on new account and I'll also name this the name of my party just to keep track of everything so I can easily go back after the event find the name of that party and track um, the analytics for it. So I'm going to give it a name and I'm going to select HTTP. This is key. You'll always have to do this for unique URL. For website URL, select HTTP and then put in photos from your event dot com. And click on yes, I agree and then click on create account so here's our tracking code right here all we need to do is select that copy it and then paste it here and that's it that's really all we need to do to configure the unique URL and dress it up you can always go back and change the background image or the header image just to fine-tune it or tweak it to meet your needs so that's it. Now all we need to do is click on next and accept. And that brings us here. Now you can see the event that I just created right here, unique URL. And now we can send ourselves a test email with the link so that we can click on the link and see how our unique URL looks. So I'm going to send a test email. I'm going to send it to myself. and I'm going to click the send button and in just a matter of seconds an email will show up in my inbox I'll be able to click on that and this will give me a mock-up of what my email currently looks like um, I can go ahead and click on one of these images or I can click on this link but I'll click on an image and that'll bring me to my unique URL and you can see my background here you can see my header image here's the text that I entered and here's that website that I entered at the bottom. Um, and here are my share buttons. These are the buttons for users to share this page on their own Facebook or on their own Twitter or email it to themselves or somebody else. These are the follow buttons. These are so that users can follow you um, on Facebook or Twitter or um, LinkedIn, YouTube. There was a long list of options for these follow buttons which I think are really really interesting especially Pinterest, Instagram and Foursquare so that's it that's all you need to do to create the unique URL and the bottom line is it allows you to create fully branded multimedia content that then your users can reshare across multiple platforms whether it be Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Tumblr and it also allows you to gain more followers by putting these follow buttons here in the corner. If you wanted to, you could even put a video like we did in this example.